Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and I'm back with another video for Stamping Bella and today I'm going to show you how to create a rainbow out of glitter. Ah, oh, this is my favorite thing to do. I'm going to be using these two sets by Stamping Bella, the Unicorn Sentiment and the Set of Unicorns. And also I'm going to be using lots of glitter. And by the way, the reason why I love those unicorns is not just because they're cute, but because they're fun to color and you don't have to color that much because you leave them white. So basically my unicorn is going to go into the bottom edge of this card and I want a rainbow to come in from that edge over here and go down there. Now what I did is I traced the outline of the card on a piece of double-sided adhesive sheet just to have this so I have the size that I'm stamping my unicorn onto the backing paper of this adhesive sheet just so I have a reference point where I need to where I need my my rainbows to go and I'm just drawing them with a pencil in here just like you know just eyeballing it basically full disclosure I actually had to redo the the rainbows on the card which, which is why you're going to see me use different um, pieces of this rainbow later on um, originally I had used real rainbow colors like orange and yellow and red and I think it was purple because I looked up like what are real rainbow colors but they just didn't work on the card it just it looked ugly so I just redid this later on with different colors because you know I didn't like it um, so I'm just cutting out the the double-sided adhesive here that I need to attach my glitter to the card later on and it doesn't need to be perfect. You know, the, the lines don't need to be perfectly curved or whatever. Um, eyeballing it is fine enough. So I'm just cutting all of them apart because each part of this rainbow is going to get a different glitter color. So I need to attach each, each of them separately. Okay, so these are now my, my new um, rainbow stickies, but it was the same process that I created them. I pulled the wrapping paper off the bottom but I'm aligning it here at the top because it's easier for me to do it like that, making sure that it's aligned. And then just pressing down where it's exposed. Just really making sure that I've got this to the very top of the like to the to the edge there. And then I'm just removing the backing paper. Like this. Boom. There we go. Now I'm pulling off that backing paper, trying to at least. So this is now the sticky exposed. I'm going to show you this in the light here. You can see here is the adhesive where you have that reflection. So that's sticky right now. I'm going to grab my coffee filter and my Nouveau glitter. I'm just going to dump whatever is in the lid onto the card and just then just going to dump the glitter onto the exposed adhesive. And the excess 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 the extra glitter is going into the coffee filter and then I'm going to funnel it back into the jar. So this is not lost, okay? So no reason to worry. Just tapping off the excess here and then I'm just rubbing over um, the glitter to make sure that it sets, that it sparkles nicely and that all the extra glitter goes back into the jar. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the colors. Just gonna put down the pink now. And you can see that the pink doesn't go to the very edge. The purple has this slight um, uh, indentation, but I'm not worried about this because in the end I can fix all of that. And I actually decided to stop after the blue. I still had my green glitter out, but I decided to st just stop at the blue because it looked good. And I grabbed my glue pen here and what I'm doing is just starting it off uh, to the side here. So basically instead of having ink, it has glue inside of it. And this allows me to just, you know, draw in here some some glue and to make sure that this line is finished off properly and just adding some glue here on top as well and I'm just gonna dump some extra glitter on top of that and you can see it's filled in and no one is the wiser that um, my original um, uh, adhesive wasn't um, wasn't aligned properly so I can fix this quite easily if it's just little areas like that now for the coloring, I'm just going to stamp my little fellow here with my favorite things, um, licorice hybrid ink, um, which is great for coloring because it really, you know, it just works with basically every medium that I use. I can just use one ink instead of having different inks. I like um, to use uh, Versafine for the sentiments because it's a very nice, rich, 
dark black ink but whenever I do coloring may that be watercolor copics um, or using a blending solution for my pencils I like to use the my favorite things licorice ink because hybrid the hybrid ink um, because I just find that's the best and then for the coloration I'm just doing dark to light the colors will be listed on my blog um, beneath the images and I'm just blending as you can see here dark to light and leaving some highlights until the very end where I go over everything um, and by leaving the highlights until the very end I can make sure they're really nice and bright I'm gonna give the same tra treatment here to the oh gosh the main of the unicorn unicorns are horses basically right <laughs> has anybody ever done a study on unicorns <laughs> that's what I, that's what i wanted to ask actually but you know i'm not going to now basically the un the rest of the unicorn is white but just leaving it white would kind of eh, not look perfect so i'm just grabbing some grays um to to add some shadow here so I think this is the those are the neutral grays so it's n3 2 1 and 0 that I'm using and I'm just blending towards the white areas or the highlight areas of the body you can see here that I'm using a very light touch it's not about coloring anything in it's just making sure that the areas where parts of the body would overlap and cast shadows onto each other that those are a little bit accentuated so it looks more natural now I'm using the dies to quickly die cut that unicorn. I'm running it through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. There we go. One way and then the other way because twice is always better than just once. And before I adhere the unicorn, I'm just going to stamp my sentiment, which is from the Unicorn Sentiments stamp set. And just fits so perfectly with this card. There we go. I always like to clean off my stamps immediately. And I put some double uh, sided adhesive tape, dimensional tape behind the unicorn and adhered it to the card. And there we go, that's the card. Super easy, very glittery, and hopefully it will make the recipient very happy. Here's a close-up of the sentiment and the unicorn. You can see that the little bit of gray that we added to the body really helps to um, make it look like more chubby, more cute, <laughs> just adorable. And here is also a view of the entire card with the glitter rainbow that I created for the background. I hope this gave you some inspiration. If you like the card, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe because I have lots more videos to come. Cheers!